what's up and welcome back to my channel now today I'm going to be showing off my Devil May Cry ultimate Dante figure well you know from a uh, Devil May Cry and this is from NECA now they called it a uh, player select as you can see up there but from what I know of I think these stand for ultimate editions you know because they actually had like another version of this same Dante figure but I think this is like the ultimate version kind of like the um the Friday the 13th with the Jason and Ultimate Part 4 uh, NECA figure I had too as well. That had like a regular version. Then they came out for Ultimate Edition, you know. Whereas this right is like the Ultimate Edition of Dante. And as you can see, it also has like the, uh, I think this is an awesome box by the way. I think this is an awesome like packaging for the figure itself. Because it looks just like the, uh, the first Devil May Cry uh, game. Which I still have as you can see. <laughs> I still have the original Devil May Cry game, you know, when it first released. I remember having this and it looks just like that cover, you know, which I think is cool, you know. Even the back of it, because it has like, you know, like Trish right here on the see right here on the side. And even on the back of the box, they have Trish like right here too as well, just like, you know. Now, I don't think about it, it's like the box itself is actually different, whereas like the game, you know, of course it shows screenshots from the game itself, you know, whereas the box shows uh, screenshots of the uh, the Dante figure and the various like accessories that he come with. So yeah, here I go. And like I said, I, I like this this box, this packaging for it, this is awesome, you know. <laughs> and I'm a big fan of the uh, the Devil May Cry series too as well. Because actually the, the original uh, Devil May Cry, this one right here, the first Devil May Cry game, this is actually my second all-time favorite game after GoldenEye. So, you know, who knows, it may, may surpass or not like actually play, you know, more, you know, because I can't really get to GoldenEye, you know, because they haven't like done like remastered or new versions of it and like, they remade it, but they actually haven't actually brought back the actual Nintendo 64 version, you know. But now Dante, they have, you know, now they actually have this HD, uh, uh, I mean, they actually did uh, Dante again, like an uh, HD version of it, which was on uh, the PS3. But I never got that one, you know. But I did manage to get the uh, this one right here, which was just released for the PS4, and it contains like the first uh, three Devil May Cry games, and this is like an HD remaster of the, of the original trilogy, you know. Because as you see, they have the Dante from the third one on the cover. And here's like the three games or something. You got part one, part two, and part three. Now this is for the PS4 and I just got this one. I haven't even opened it yet. I just purchased it, you know. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I'm a big fan of the, uh, the, the Devil May Cry series. I've had all the games, you know, like these are like the games I actually have too as well. You can touch on it. I also had a uh, Devil May Cry. I used to have two too, but I don't know what happened to it, but this is my third one. I even had part four, you know, with Nero. I also had uh, the reboot to uh, DMC, you know, as well, which, and all those are good. And of course, like I said, the original one too, I always had this, you know. And also even have the anime. I have the complete Devil May Cry series, that like animated series, you know. The anime, I have this too as well, you know. The whole series, you know, because they only did like one season of it. So anyway, I'm gonna touch on the, uh, the extra figure stuff too as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into this. Yeah, now this figure was released in, I think, April of 2015, this particular version of it, you know. And like I say, it looks just like the, uh, the cover for the original game, which I think is excellent, you know. I think the box alone is, like, excellent, you know. And then even, like, the back of it, you know, it has, like, the same, like, scripture, you know, when it was describing, like, the game, you know, half man, half demon, pure vengeance. You know, they just tell you like the school describing what the game was about, you know, at the time, you know. <laughs> but anyway, like I say, here's just the inside of it too. Which I think is cool. It has a like, cool image of, of like Dante in it right here, as you can see. With the sword, I think a laster, I think that's what you called it. And here's like the actual, like, you can see them inside, you know, which I think is cool too as well. With the uh, ebony ivory handguns, the shotgun. And so on, you know, the various accessories that come with it, you know. Now this figure supposedly has 30 points of articulation too as well, so I'm finna get into it right now. <laughs> okay, here's another shot of like Dante and the various accessories. Like the, he got hands, you know, you can change the hands, the two handguns, ebony and ivory, the shotgun and sword, you know, and the figure itself, you know. So I'm gonna go take him out this packaging. Now another thing that's cool, just like the other one, you know, like the Neko Jason one I had, 
it has like a cover in the inside too, but I don't ever take those out, you know, that you can take out and put part around Dante to make it like, you know, like like a scene from the game itself, you know. But I don't usually ever take those out, you know. Okay, as you can see, this is the Dante figure, you know, player select ultimate seven inch Dante figure that has 30 points of articulation. Now, I already put the sword in his hand. I think it's Alastor. I think that's how you pronounce it. I already had the sword in his hand. And you had to take the, uh, well, I didn't have to take that particular hand off, but he does come with, like, you can see, uh, I'm going to go through it as, you know, I talk about it. He has, like, interchangeable hands, as you can see. I think these hands right here are for, like, the guns. Put, like, his pistols in. You probably could put the sword in it, too, even a shotgun, you know. And, of course, these are his handguns that Dante always has, you know. You have, uh, Ebony and Ivory, like his handguns. <laughs> awesome. And he also has a shotgun too. And these are the weapons that were in the game, you know, like the shotgun too as well. As you can see. Looks just like it do in the game. Now another thing I think is kinda cool about these, they actually have like the fire bursts as, 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 like if he like he shot the gun or whatever, you know, as if he's shooting like the bullet out the gun. I guess you could say the muzzle flash, which I think is cool because right here you can see like I could take this handgun right here, ivory, and you can actually put it on here. But yeah, you could put like these fire bursts on his guns as if he shot, you know, from the gun, which I think which I think looks cool, you know. I sure when I put the guns in his hand, you also do it with the shotgun too as well. <laughs> I think that's cool, you know. So yeah, like the figure, it's, it's pretty good. It has lots of articulation. I did have some trouble getting in the stand one while, you know. And here's like the sword too as well. I'm going to take that out right quick and show it. Because you know you can raise it up and stuff. Oh, I see his hand came off. <laughs> I must be didn't have it on tight enough. Let's try to be careful with these because they don't want to break easily, you know. But I think the sword itself is also cool too, the Alistair. I think that's how you pronounce it. Cause you see it has like the, the dragon mouth on it, like the sword is coming out the mouth. It has like the skulls on it too as well. On the handle. It looks just like this on the game too. This looks just like how Dante looks on the game itself, you know, like his gloves and everything, like the clothes, it looks how he looked at, he looks just like he looked on the original game itself, you know, the suit, like the, the, the three belts right there, his boots too as well, and it's lost articulation until, you know, you can move his arms around and stuff, you can even turn his head, you know, he has articulation in the head too as well. I like the way his hair feels too, you know. It's so obvious that Dante was actually Leon too from uh, Resident Evil. Because you know the first Devil May Cry game was originally uh, Resident Evil 4. But they went ahead and just changed it into like a new game which they called Devil May Cry. So you can tell this is obviously, you know, why I believe like Leon, you know. But then they just changed his hair white and turned him into, <laughs> into Dante, you know. I always thought that was cool and interesting, you know. First Devil May Cry game, this was originally Resident Evil 4. But they changed it into a Devil May Cry, you know. Because you know Resident Evil 4, of course, they did have Leon as the, uh, the protagonist of it, you know. Okay. The only flaw I really see in this is so far, other than it kind of having a little trouble standing, is you can't put the sword on Dante's back, which I think is kind of odd, you know. Because like in the game, you know, you were able to put the sword like on his back, like it, it attached to his back like that when he's walking around. You can see it on his back too as well. So I think that's kind of odd. They didn't put like a holster or like or something on here that would keep that the sword on his back. You know, I think that's kind of odd. They didn't they didn't do that. You know, that doesn't really make any sense. You know, they should have put like a place on here for the sword. It still is excellent. You know, but that's one of like the main flaws that I really see. And you know, that really stands out. You cannot put your sword on Dante's back. You know, like it is like in the game. You know, because he always carries it on his back if he's not using it. So I think that's kind of messed up. You know. And like I said, this has a lot of articulation, you know. You could bend his knees and stuff. His feet, if they turn to as well. I notice he doesn't really stand out well. Like if you want to stand him straight, it's kind of hard to do it. 
Now the cape, this is another thing I think, but this is okay because it looks like it's blowing in the wind. Because you can actually pull, say like if you had like a, like a stand, you know, you can actually pull some in the air, you know. Because I'm thinking about getting one of those too, you know. Like, you know, when he's jumping in the air, and you know, it could, like his cape is floating in the air. You know, we're flapping in the air when he's floating, you know. So I think that's kind of okay that they made that like that, you know. But it would have been cool if they could have, if they did change the cape around, you know. But in other words, this is an excellent figure and it does look just like Dante, you know. Looks exactly like him. So now I'm going to take his hands off. And see, he has like those kind of pegs on him, you know. Kind of like the other neck of figures and stuff. So I took those off. And then I'm going to put on the other hands for the, uh, for the guns. I think he's for the guns. Okay, there's Dante with uh, his guns, his twin pistols, you know. You got Ebony over here, which is the black one. Then you got Ivory on here, which is the white one. <laughs> I think that's cool. I love those weapons too, like in the game. I also love like the sword too, Alistair. Like I said, it's still been cool. You can put it on his back, you know, just like in the games. Like I said, now the other thing you can do is put these like uh, fire bursts. That's what they call on here too. So I'm going to try these right quick. And as you can see, there are the, uh, the fire bursts, which I think is awesome. Because when you look at it like that, it does like it's actually shooting, you know. So it does look kind of cool, you know, that they got the fire bursts. That's, that's, I think that's awesome, you know. <laughs> and as you can see, there's a shotgun too as well, you know, that you could put on Dante, you know. The shotgun itself, which is cool. And again, just like the handguns, you could put like the, uh, these fire bursts. You actually could put these on the, uh, the shotgun too as well. See, I hope they don't fall off on me, because they do tend to fall off. Yeah, as you can see, there's a fire burst. And it is awesome, though. It looks like the gun is really, you know, like shooting. I think that's cool, you know, if you're not careful, <laughs> you actually think it's like an animation there, like it's actually flashing, you know, so I think that's kind of cool, you know, that they got fire bursts with it. That's, that's awesome. Okay, so yeah, there's my uh, Dante from Devil May Cry, you know, NECA, ultimate figure, seven inch figure. Now they call it player select, so I think that's what they're calling it now. Instead of uh, like ultimate, you know, they call it like player select, but they're still ultimate figures, you know. Cause nothing I thought was kind of odd about that, like with the Jason figure too, the final chapter one, they don't really say ultimate on them, you know. It doesn't say it like anywhere on the box, you know. So that's why I always thought it was kind of confusing, you know. But you can tell, cause like the Jason one, you know, he had like more blood on him, I think, or something like that. Or he was like more like realistic looking versus the original version. Like the ultimate version was more, I think, gory. Kind of like how they did with like McFarlane and the song. You know, they did like releases of like the figures and they released them again. with like bloodier. I think it was kind of like that. That's how you can tell that it was actually different, different, you know. But yeah, I think this is an excellent figure. You know, I would definitely recommend it for fans of like Dante. Like Devil May Cry, I would definitely recommend it for that crowd, you know. Like I said, the only problem with it, I guess the cape kind of can get in the way to a certain extent. I wish you could, I could, I wish you could bend it, but that's okay. It looks cool, you know, and it does seem like kind of a little trouble standing on him, you know, but I think he stands well. But the main big problem and flaw I see with this figure was like the sword itself, you know. You can't put it on Dante back like in the game. They should have a place where you can actually just sit it on his back, you know, like magnetize it or like a little, like a little hook or something, you know, but they don't have that. So that's the only flaw. I really see in this figure, you can't put the sword on Dante's back, you know, so I think that's, that's bad, you know. But the other accessories are the interchangeable hands, like the uh, the handguns, the shotgun, and I think the fire bursts are cool too, you know. I think that's awesome. I think this is an excellent figure. I would highly recommend it, you know. <laughs> and again, I think this box is just awesome. They did like such an excellent job on this box. That is so cool. I like how this is just like the original, like I said, game cover, you know. I think that's cool, you know. And by the way, I'm definitely looking forward to playing this right here too, the, the PlayStation 4 version of the, uh, well, HD version of uh, the Devil May Cry collection, you know, which has the original Devil May Cry, you know, part 2 and part 3. Now, I think part 3 is actually the best one if you go, like, the overall look of the game and how it plays and stuff, but my favorite is always would be, like, the first, the original one, which I say is, like, my second all-time favorite game after GoldenEye, and actually my all-time favorite PlayStation 2 game, you know. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this uh, figure, this Dante figure. So please leave a comment and subscribe too as well.